Hey, welcome back everybody to a brand new series called Surrounded. I've been spending a little bit of time playing this game, just kind of uh, on the download, just relaxing, just chilling, that type of thing. And I really enjoy it, and I think it'd be fun to do like a mini series. What I mean by a mini series is you can do permadeath on this, so I'm just gonna go until I die, and then that'll be the end of the season. If you guys really, really enjoyed it, let me know. But I do plan on recording like, you know, 45 minutes to an hour every episode. And like I said, when I die, it's over, and we'll just go from there. So we gotta create a character. Let's just do uh, Boner McBones. I like the name, should work. We'll be 21 years old because I miss those days. Prior occupation, let's rock out being a soldier. Other than that, I'm pretty cool with the rest of the way my character looks. I'm not really worried about it. Let's jump in and hit continue. So this is what I was talking about right here, permadeath. Let's go ahead and hit uh, no auto save, no saving at all. When you do die, it completely wipes your game files. Um, from this playthrough, so you can't go back and do it again. We are gonna do it standard. It's hand restart required, but that's a recommended. That's interesting because normally it doesn't happen that way. Uh, the biggest thing that I do want to change is there's this one setting I'm not a big fan of. I think it's underneath loot and environment. Yeah, disable back, uh, disable backpacks and backpacks. I'm not the biggest fan of that. I think that that's kind of a, a goofy way of playing the game. It's basically you can just keep putting backpacks inside backpacks. Inside backpacks, I have like infinite storage. So we're not going to do that. We're going to turn that off. Um, loot regeneration. We're going to leave that off as well. Oh, wait. Disabled on load. Let's turn that off as well. That way we can't kind of cheese the game uh, by just logging off, logging back on. Or every time we log off and log back on, there'll be new loot. And then other than that, I think we're good. So let's go ahead and hit start. We'll see if actually needing to reload was required. All right, here we go. We are in the game. As you can see, it's a little bit different looking graphic settings, but we'll roll with it. I kind of enjoy the look of the graphics, not graphic settings, but just graphic looks overall. I forgot what they call this type of graphics. Is it like pixel uh, or voxel? Is voxel, is that what it is? But yeah, so I do plan on doing about 45 minutes of more or less unedited gameplay. If there's any loading screens and stuff for some reason, we will uh, we'll cut those out, just so we don't have to talk through those. Let's go ahead and kill our first zombie of this playthrough. Did get hit once, which is unfortunate, but we took him out. Let's do a quick little search. We'll hold on to the light, because we could use that when it gets dark out. Goal for today's episode is I either want to find a decent vehicle, or I want to find a place to start building a base that I can, you know, put up some storage and that type of thing. Let's go ahead and just take out this zombie here. So the, the attack, you got to hold in your right right mouse button and then left click to do the melee damage. It works pretty decently. Um, it's not terrible. It's, I think it's a little bit better. For, yeah, it's just a little bit better. Let's grab this one. Let's do some quick searching inside here. There's all kinds of loot boxes and stuff. Or not loot boxes, but places to search. I don't know if you played... Uh, ooh, there we go. Oh, never mind. That's not that good. Got a couple books to read here. Let's go ahead and read those. That should increase my... Uh, just skills in general. Well, I'll go over that here in just a second, but I don't know if you've ever played games like um, Why well, I can't think of it. State of K, I think is what it's called. Where like you can hold down shift as you're searching and it like searches faster. But then you run the risk of it making noise, which it just did there. That's nice. We just got a backpack and a lunchbox and more books. This is uh, this is going pretty good already. What books do we get here? I should have looked at those other ones. Toughness and fitness. So let's just grab those. Do a quick little read on those, and uh, let's continue moving on. So that backpack gave us a ton more storage, which is good. And I do have some cloth that can make some more bandages if I need to. And uh, actually, I can search this car, or salvage this car. Eh, I'm going to hold off on doing that. It's just going to give me scrap metal for right now, and I don't really need that. So we'll just continue moving on. Right now, you can't see where I'm at on the map, but a lot of times you kind of spawn in this area right here, or down in this area here. So I'm kind of used to the spawn points in general. I think I know where that's at. And uh, it's kind of, a, it kind of feels bad sometimes. You get to know the map, but the map does look a lot bigger than what it is. However, when you get a moving vehicle, you get through it pretty quick. Okay, I can't search that. Looks like we got a little bit of uh, civilization going on over there. Let's see if we can search that trash bin real quick. I don't know, if, I don't remember if we can or not. Sure can. Oh, small generator. I think I'm just going to hold on to the gunpowder for right now. It'd be nice to have that small generator already. I don't see anything up there. Oh, you know what? What's cool about these planes is if I can pull this off, 
These are like military cargo planes, and they do have a couple pieces of cargo in here. But there is a lot of zombies. Yeah, you can see a little bit of loot there. My goal is, that, let's see if I can just like pull one at a time here. And we'll fight our way through this. Hopefully it works out. Once I level up the first time, it's got the bullets. We might as well take them. I did not mean to shift click. A little bit of uh, space engineer stuck in me yet. Uh, but if you hit J on the keyboard, you can pull up your actual uh, like journal. And once I can, I want to grab this health regen. Because that's going to make it so I survive a lot easier. Got to hit J again to close it down. There's another one. Perfect. I'm trying to make a little bit of noise just to draw the first one nearest to me. There is a radiated zombie over there too I want to be very careful with. You kind of just slowly back up and continue to swing and it usually works out pretty good. We'll grab that water. Good thing to have, especially with that lunch box now. That's an ammo box. Here comes that radiated zombie. This is okay. I'll take this. I don't want I don't want her to hit me, I guess. Uh, because she will take away some of my radiation defenses. Immunities, uh, protection, however you want to say it. I don't know. Okay, so let's see if we can't just sneak up on this box real quick. Oops, I moved my mouse off there. What am I doing? I was trying to zoom out real quick and I ended up moving the mouse. What a dork. All right, I uh, got some 9 mil. We like that, and we got some 7.62, so perfect. We just need to find a rifle and or pistol. Anything in here? No. So this plane crash doesn't have as much loot boxes as I'm used to. Okay, there's one more right there. We'll grab that one. A trick to killing these guys around the ground like this is you do actually have to crouch to do it. it makes it a lot easier. I'm not taking any liquor right now because that's for making Molotov cocktails. Which isn't a terrible thing, but for right now, let's just uh, roll without it. Uh, we'll grab the aviators too. And these do stack up to three, so we'll just hold on to that. I want a trucker's hat. Yeah, let's roll with it. I don't think this thing does anything. Yeah, it's kind of pointless to have, but we still grabbed it. it. Looks like there's a little bit more ammunition. And there's a military box there. So let's just jump in here real quick and see if we can't loot this ammo. And then we'll get that last box. The crawler should be here probably by the time. That was a lot of ammo. Oh, hello. You got here a lot faster than I was expecting, sir. We just got a lot of ammo from that. We got some, what, 308s. We got some uh, 45s, 5, 5, 5, 6, and some shotgun shells. We'll take it. Let's sneak into this last box here. Hopefully, we can grab this without anybody else noticing. I guess it's just a supply pile. Uh, we will take this. We're going to drop this jacket and grab this one because that does give us a little bit more slots. And the pickaxe isn't bad to have, so I'm going to hold on to it. I could use that as really melee, I think. Let's do that. Um, that way I can also mine rocks when we need to. Because once you make a fire, uh, zombies don't spawn when you come back in. And that's really important when playing hardcore. So I need to make sure I get that done. I'll make sure that that's actually there. Okay, so we do have an ambulance in here. We have a running zombie, which I want to be a little bit careful of that. He can kind of mess you up pretty good. Undead Shambler. Yeah, that pickaxe does a lot better damage, and it knocks him back, so I like that. Let's grab the can opener, because when we do find some food, we will have to use that to open the actual cans of food itself. Kind of a cool concept. I guess this game is a lot like DayZ and stuff. These guys are usually pretty difficult, because they do sprint. But this pickaxe is nice, because it does do a, you know, a... Uh, Kind of like a stun. Knockback, stun, however you want to call it. So it just makes it a little bit easier, a little bit safer to take on zombies melee style. We're going to drop that. Okay, I think, do we level up? No. I must be really close. Oh, I am. I don't know why I didn't look at that. I still have, like, what, 37 more to go? This ambulance isn't searchable, which is unfortunate. Here's a couple, two of them. Luckily, we'll both take out... Do a pretty good job taking out the sprinter for the most part before the other one gets here. Actually, they both died at the exact same time. And there is our first pistol. So let's talk about how this works. I need to jump in here. I need to inspect it. And I can just take my 9 mil and drag it onto the mag. And it fills up the mag. Um, so you do need to actually reload your ammo that way. But I'm happy we got our first one. 
I'm going to refrain from using that because it does draw basically every zombie in the area until we do get um, some form of silencer put on it. But at the same time, I'm not really worried about it. If I get overran, having that pistol is going to be huge. Continue just working our way through this, uh, this area here. All right, so I did trigger that. So let's see what happens. Fuel is going to be very important. I do want uh, this here. I'll show you why in a second. And we'll grab those, those 308s. All right, I think we're looking good. I didn't trigger anything, so I'm just going to keep doing a fast search. Currency, I would like to take that, but it's just a large. I thought I heard somebody walking. Mm, baseball bat. 30, 24. Technically, that baseball bat is better. Let's roll with it. I think for the time being, I'm just going to have to leave that pickaxe. And I could move all my ammo up here and then put that pickaxe like so. That's four by two. This is five by one. The thing that's nice about this jacket is I can fit doubles. So let's actually change this out real fast. Let's go like that. Let's open this up and grab our little bit of food and water we had. Food can go down there and this can go up there. And I did take some gunpowder already, so let's grab that. And those are exactly the same. I figured they would be, but just good to check. Vending machines are usually good because you get some water out of here. I think sometimes you do get food randomly. I don't need that, and I don't need that. So, it's all right. We'll survive. Bullet casings are good to have. And it does actually, I forgot, these do go into here. So, that's really nice. That frees up a lot of room. Rope does. This does. This does. So, that's good. Um, I do only have one, is it bandage or is this rags? It's only one rag. So let's actually just make all of our rags that we can. And let's actually make as many bandages as, as we can, which I think was just one. And I want to replace out just like so. And we'll go ahead and store those down there. That way I can quickly, sometimes this is weird. So I just want to put them back in there. Like I can hit seven now and fill up a little bit of health there for me. So if I get into a bind, I have a quick way of healing myself. And that bag is exactly the same, I believe. Yeah, 4x5, four 4x5. By five, four by five. So I'm not really worried about that. Let's just grab what we can here. Uh, really, I don't think I want to grab anything else for the time being. That works. I'm being a little selective until I get a vehicle and some storage and or a base. I would like to kind of establish both things today. I don't think I'm gonna fit that generator in here, right? Oh, it doesn't fit anyway. Uh, you know what though? I really could throw. Hmm. I'm actually not going to panic over the generator right now. I think we can find them pretty easily at this point with how they're showing up. You can see down on the bottom left hand corner, you can see my health, my stamina. I did level up, so let's be smart real quick and grab this one. Basically, what it's gonna do is just regen. As long as I'm healthy, it's gonna regen my health for me. I don't have to use bandages. So you should be able to see it slowly going up. It's currently at 82%, but it should tick up to 83 here in a second. Because I am healthy enough across the board, I believe. Did I not choose it? Yeah, I cho chose it. Okay. Weird. Whatever. Let's just keep moving. I'm trying to get my exact bearings of where I'm at on the map. I've, I've been to these areas before, but I don't quite remember exactly where I'm at. So we're just gonna kind of keep running. The biggest thing I don't want to run into is um, like bandits. They're kind of a pain in the butt right now because they do have firearms and all I have is my one pistol. I could probably make it work. Actually, so I think I have an idea of where I'm at. The town is, hmm, I'm getting a little, maybe I don't know where I'm at exactly. All right, let's start working on cleaning these dudes out. Here comes a runner and a non-runner. It's a little weird that like these two got triggered, but the one that was a little bit closer didn't yet. But now he is, so we'll roll with it. It's not the game is not overly difficult in my opinion. I'll just hold on to those until I need to get rid of them. I'm trying to speed this up a little bit. Don't need any of that. Don't need any of that. What I really want to find is a GPS because you find GPS, you can then see where you're at on the map, which is really nice, and it makes it a lot easier to know where you gotta go. Where you gotta look for that type of thing. Oh, 
right. Nothing there. Nothing there. I think this is pretty much the last dude I got in this area. I definitely want to check out this gas station for two reasons. It's sometimes you find gas, but more importantly, I keep hitting the wrong button there. More importantly, sometimes you find vehicle repair kits. So both of those are very important to obviously find because it will uh, allow you to fix up vehicles. Like I wouldn't be surprised if there wasn't a vehicle repair kit right in this box. I was wrong. Uh, I think I'm gonna stick with the bat. Yeah, let's stick with the bat. Let's grab the gunpowder. And I guess sharp blades. I don't know what sharp blades are used for yet, but it is considered a tool. So we'll just throw it in the toolbox for right now. Hopefully we find some gas in here. I think I already have one container, which is good. But having another one doesn't hurt, which we did. So that's good. I'm happy about that. And then sometimes we can find some food here on the shelves. These are not searchable, but these are right here. Perfect. And nothing. Just my luck. I'll grab this counter real top, real quick, and see how that goes. Uh, lunchbox. I don't really need a lunchbox. I already have one. And let's just move on. Oh, here's some luggage. That's always good to get. All right. We'll just keep rolling this way. I don't know if, like, I've never actually paid attention to this game, but the sun will help you navigate. I should probably pay attention to that. I imagine it's late afternoon at this point, or, like, early afternoon. So I'm thinking that is going to be west, and that's east. So I would be heading uh, south. Why did I have to think about that so much? I swear I was in the military at one point in time. Nothing there to search. There are bears and wolves and that type of thing out here, too. You got to be careful of. I'd be a little screwed if I came across something like that right now. But uh, I think we would do our best to survive. So there's a little bit of an establishment over here. Let's go check this out. Actually, this might be a trader. It is. Let's just take a look at the trader real quick. I'll show you what we all can see inside of one of these. This is a chill dude. You can't talk to him or anything. Just a wandering trader. Oh, wait. You can't. Crazy, I did not know that. What are you selling? Ooh, he's got an exterminator. And it costs how much? 35 credits? Oh, credits. Uh, completely different. So they also have sniper. So this dude uses credits to sell this stuff. Okay. Uh, but I could, you know, jump up here and sell him this, sell him this, and that just gives me more cash right here. I don't have a lot of cash currently. Um, I could also sell gas and stuff, but I'm not going to right now. Let's jump in here and show you what else you can find inside the trader. I'm a little thrown off because my health is not regenerating. Let's drink this and eat this and see if that causes it to start regenerating. That or maybe I should have reloaded. So yeah, there's cooking um, uh, benches. We have some normal crafting benches where you can make your weapons bench and you know your normal building station, nails, Makeshift knives, makeshift knives, vehicle repair kits. That just takes electrical wire and scrap metal, which is really easy to make, actually. In fact, if I would have, I think, tore down that uh, one vehicle and grabbed that wire I saw, I would have been fine with that. And then this is just another trader right here. Let's see what he got selling for us. He's got a 45 for 350. I won't have enough for that anyway. Some B Nox. A couple filters. I mean, they're selling for 500 each. Not there's nothing really here that like screams I must get a battery would be good, but again, it's 200. I just don't really feel like I need to spend the money on it. So let's just keep moving, just keep rolling. Uh, is there a way to see oh, Trader Joe's? So if we look, oh, actually, I think you need GPS on to even see where the locations are. I thought Trader Joe's was like in this area. Which is the case. I'm moving down to this area down here. Okay. Well, let's just keep rolling with it. I really wonder if I was supposed to restart the game because of the fact that uh, I'm not getting the health back. I'm a little nervous to restart now purely because of the fact that I don't know what would spawn back in if I came back in. I mean, I guess I could try it and see. But 
let's just roll with it. I do have a couple bandages. I'll just take another one. Be extra safe. So that dude is all radiated. What is, uh, what's his ultra radiated? Yeah. And then this dude is radiated. So there's a couple of radiated zombies here. What's nice about these police cars is sometimes the boxes around them do have some pretty decent gear in there for us. So let's just uh, see what we can find out. Or find, not find out. Yeah, there's a, I think that's a considered a military supply. Okay, that's all right. I'm just going to take this fireman. That's radiated. See, I got close to that dude, and he started taking away my radiation protection down there. Or resist. I think it's resistance. I think that'd be the best way of saying it. But it's also good because I got radiation pills. Can I put my can? How about that? Oh, I can. That's nice. Okay, I didn't know that. Yeah. So, as you notice, my radiation protection is going down really fast fighting this dude. Mostly because I'm also walking through it. But I can jump over here now and just take one of these. I can actually drop it there and just consume one. And we're good. I also noticed my health is full now. So I don't know if just eating and drinking triggered the effect to start working or what. But hey, it's good. It's going. All right. Nope, nothing there. Are you considered military? Nope, just crates. There's an ammo box right there to my left as well. So we'll grab that. Uh, nice backpack. Four of five versus five of five. Perfect. Got an ammo container. So that's nice because we can drop all of these rounds into this container. Another fuel box or fuel uh, can. So we'll take that. And then I got to open this up. So do this because I disabled uh, backpacks within backpacks. Yeah, drop it on the ground and then inspect it. And now you can now you can grab the stuff that's in here. Let's go ahead and just grab everything like so. I'm going to drop my cash down there. We'll put this right there. Beautiful. Love it. What do we got here? It's always, I'm liking the, the amount of ammo we're finding. Okay, so we just got some 40 millimeter grenades. All right. Why didn't you put it in the ammo box right away, you dum dum? Got radio tower over there. Not overly worried about that right now. I could probably scrap that, but I'm just going to keep moving on. I'm really surprised we haven't found a vehicle yet. I think I just saw a bear over to my left. Yeah, that's a bear over there. I would probably die if I went against that bear right now. Maybe with my pistol I could take it out, but it's super hard to say. I'm just gonna ignore that for right now. As long as I stay away from the creepy crawler, I'll be fine taking out the rest of these. And I might have to crouch down and just take all three of them at one time. There we go. Whoa, how did I do that? I've never seen myself do an animation like that before. So this does attack a little bit better or a little bit more damage, but I just don't think it knocks back. And I like the knockback of the melee uh, of the bats a lot. Oh, medical crate. Let's see what we get here. Why do you keep? I swear I'm not letting go of anything or moving, and it just keeps dropping it. Auto injector increases my health and energy. Okay, well, we'll hold on to it. Hearing a like a thumping noise. I don't know if that was just me. If you guys could hear that too. Uh, nope, that doesn't go there. Thought I could throw on a skull mask. Guess not. Here's a vehicle we can search. Let's just do a quick one here. There we go. That worked. Empty water canteen is nice because we can just continue to refill it, and it does give us a lot of water back. For water bottles, give like I think 25. I think canteens do 50. I am actually pretty low on uh, my food and drink. So hopefully we do come across some stuff here to eat and drink as well. Six of seven, five of five. We know what we're going to do there. Let's just grab that. The cement and the lamp. Drop this on the ground. Kind of the same old song and dance. And perfect. Pretty happy with the, the luggage I got already, the, the carrying capacity. Here we go. I think this is something that's really good here, typically. The emergency drops. Uh, not bad. Hunter scope. We're going to hold on to that. Got ourselves a P90 mag. Got ourselves a shotgun, suppre a shotgun suppressor. Okay. That's interesting. And then all of this, which is nice, can get dropped into here. You can't. But I can move this back up here. Drop the medical container down there. 
and it should be set up to still use those i hope so and it's getting dark out which i'm nervous for what is this smoke down here am i dumb for doing this I don't see anything. Ooh, these might be bandits. These are bandits. And I just don't think I'm going to be able to take out bandits right now. Yeah. They have a lot of really good stuff on them, but I'm not risking it. I, man, I do not know where I'm at. I bet they haven't found GPS yet either. It really kind of sucks. That's such a helpful thing to have. Once nighttime hits, if you don't have a sleeping bag or a bed to sleep in, you have to sit through the whole night, and that's uh, nothing really like happens. Like things don't get more aggressive or run faster or anything like that. It's just scarier because you can't see as well. It does get pretty dark. Hopefully, it's not too dark for you guys as you're trying to watch the video when we get to that point. This is some stuff in here. Whoa! What the heck? That was kind of spooky. Is there a mine or something? Oh, I'm out of stamina. And I'm bleeding. There we go. Bandage will stop the bleed. All right, just slowly walk here to get some of our stamina back. Oh, yeah. Oh, I missed that one. Crap. No. All right, well, let's just... Uh... Okay, well, we're hurt. That's all right. Oh, man, I wish I would have had a battery or something here because... Okay, well, the moon came up and gave me a little bit of light, apparently. Is there seriously a... I'm a little nervous about this now. Am I going to walk in here and die to a mine? I don't see any on the ground. How would that go for ending the season right there, right? Getting clapped by a mine. Ideally, I'd find a, a sleeping bag or something in one of these. I mean, some of this stuff is really good to have once you have the room for it, but right now we don't. Oh, wait, this is a vehicle repair kit. Heck yeah. So if we find a vehicle, we will be able to fill it up with fuel and fix it up so like it'd be nice if like this pickup truck right here right like it looks like you should be able to just rip off the uh, tarp and go but for some reason you can't let's just continue to look i probably will continue to move though throughout the night there's no reason to really sit still money pouch is nice because i can throw in all my currencies in this little pouch why are you having such a weird issue with putting stuff away it's weird Lockpicks are good. Let's hold on to those. I don't think I've leveled up yet, right? No. Just got that one so far. I keep hitting escape to leave, and it just doesn't work that way. This might be more fuel here. Let's take a quick look. Yep, yeah, and I can't fit it. Man, do we have fuel. I don't know if I've ever had this much fuel in the game. I think I have about 50 hours to put into it around there. So I have some knowledge, some experience on playing the game. I'm still really nervous about running around here. There's a fireman's ask, axe, but I think I'm going to stick with... Apparently I can pick locks already. Got that Bethesda-style lock picking. It's got to be like right in here somewhere. Broke one. That's not good. Where are you at? Crap. Uh, exit, there we go. Okay, that time you had to escape to leave. That was weird, I swear I was right on it, but maybe I was moving too much or my skills just not high enough. Yeah, we're gonna grab it just to have it. Kinda getting to the point now where I don't, but you can also get generators and stuff too for light sources and honestly, I don't know what really else to use generators for at this point. Oh, like auto turrets and stuff, right? So if you do get attacked, you can just set up a generator and some auto turrets and get some work done around your base. 
there's not things like seven days to die where like a horde comes attack you. At least I haven't came across that yet. But uh, I'm just a really big fan of like games in general. I thought about doing this for the next Space Engineer season is uh, permadeath. Like it's it makes the game highly replayable. It sometimes hurts because you lost like really good progress or whatever, but um, it's just still kind of a cool concept, fun concept. That is actually a working Humvee, I think, right there. That is huge. So we are going to clean this area out, make our way over there, make sure I'm right. Yeah, we'll just grab everything for right now. Yep. Oh, no, it's just a pickup truck. It looked like a Humvee at first, but what's nice about this is you now have more storage. So head to the front, hit the repair button. I think there's a way for me to look. And yeah, there we go. Holding down alt. Actually, no, you don't have to. Okay. Actually, I think I had to press alt to get the free cam. And then it gets weird. You have to like uh, right click to get it to work right. Um, fuel tank is right there. So just hold down or just press F again. And it starts fueling it up. So now I've used that repair kit and that fuel to set up this and get this vehicle working. A couple things. This has headlights on it so you can see a little bit better. And But ultimately, a big thing is just getting around the map faster. And we can drop off a good chunk of stuff here that we might as well hold on to, but not in our actual person's inventory. I think this is good. Yeah, we'll roll with it. All right, let's see if we can't take out the rest of these zombies here. I think there's a crate over here. Yep, here comes one dude. What's up, undead shambler? There we go. Nice. Uh, I'm not going to take the bag. I just don't want it. I don't want the extra storage for no reason. I shouldn't say extra storage. It's just wasted storage for more storage I can't use. Keep working on these shamblers here. I think we're... Hey, I'll take the next extra 9 mil because that's worth 200. And what's nice about this is I can inspect it, drop out the mag, open up my ammo, drop in some uh, 9 mil to fill that up with. And now if I need to reload my pistol, I have a second mag full of ammo. It's kind of a cool concept. I like games that do that. Like Tarkov does that. Um... I'm totally blanking out. Like uh, Scum does that. Doesn't Day C do that? I think. Let's see what we got. I'm getting a little bit of. Uh, I can't tell if I'm running into stuff. I'm getting a little bit of lag. All right, there's some pants that give us a little bit more space as well. Let's just take out the sham shambler first. Hunting rifle. We'll take it. Um, I think I have ammo for it, and this one isn't. Do I not really? Hold up. Now I'm confusing myself. 308. I have 308. Yeah. We'll put it there. Okay. Is this got to be in your inventory, not in the ammo box? That's kind of lame. I'll be the first person to say that. That's pretty lame, but we'll roll with it. I'll take the 6x7 over that instead. Let's grab the generator. I can always dump it. And then let's just swap out some pants. Now we got a little bit more storage here as well. Good stuff. Let's just. Put this in my pants there. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. Get to this pickup truck real fast. Uh, toolbox. Crowbar. Crowbar is not bad to have because there's some things that require you to have it. I have room for that, so I'm just going to grab it. I like it. Cool. All right. Well, that is pretty much all of this. Hmm, we'll take the gunpowder. Look, man. I don't know why. It's still a, it's still kind of buggy in some situations with this game. Sometimes I just quit walking forward. And it's not my keyboard because obviously I play other games. But yeah. Kind of frustrating when that stuff happens. But just gotta kind of work through it. I believe it's only one dude working on this game. So it's pretty impressive. Some of the work he's been able to do. Which way do we want to go? I guess we'll go this way. I'm not 100% sure where I'm at on the map. I thought I had an idea, and I think I just kind of turned myself around. There's a church. It might be worth us checking that out. 
Yeah, let's just do this. What's really nice about a vehicle too is you can actually honk your horn and pull everything away from the area you're going. And then go back in and search and stuff. But for right now, I want to be able to... Ooh, I'm getting rocked up. We're okay. We survived. Another pistol. I like getting these purely because of the mag. And it is worth 200 gold. Or 200 gold. Jeez. $200 in cash money. Cash money. You are not full up. Thank you. What's up, dude? Want a little bat sandwich? There you go. Yep, we'll take that. Oh, come on with this. Why are you having so many issues? Maybe it is, Maybe I just do need to restart the game. Well, we'll find out next episode, I guess. Oh, there's like a power attack. You hold it in, and he hits harder. How did I not know that? Okay, there's some food, at least. Really need some water. Right, well, we're going to take you. Oh, that missed, though. Oh, my goodness, with these rifles. I mean, they're worth money, so we got to take them. Golf club, not worried about you. I have rope in here already, so please go in there. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, and... I thought I had nails. Yeah, I do have nails. I'm just blind as a bat, apparently. Really do need to find some food here. That's my biggest, at this point, concern. This is storage. You can't sleep in it. Key card briefcase would be good to have, but really there's nothing in here I want to take right now. Purely just because of my limited storage capacity currently. Let's keep moving on. I am going to eat the little bit of food that I do have. Doesn't really give me water back, but at least it keeps my food up. I've never actually had issues with food and drink in this game. This is the first time I've ran into those problems. It might be worth us go check out this farmhouse. It'd be funny if I just did a full loop and this is where I started off at. Nope. Just because there's a zombie here, I don't think they would have spawned that fast. Actually, there's a hidden stash right there. That worked out pretty well for us. I'm happy I came over here. We got a crawler coming in. Yeah, see how that, when I failed there, it, uh, oh, it's still alive below me. Let's run real quick. This is where I could pop off a couple rounds. If I can hit, land some shots, that is. I still got the searching noise going on in the background, so that's probably a little annoying for you guys. Okay, come on. You're good. Isn't there two dudes there? Oh my god, he's still alive. We'll just do it all for right now. I do have a flashlight, by the way, but I can't use it yet because I don't have batteries for it. You got to find batteries for your, all of your equipment like that. I hope this go. The sound goes away now. All right, uh, we'll take the shotgun. Let's actually unload this. Grab the shotgun. We'll take the F and L, uh, F and L magazine. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I'm probably not. Drop that in there. I don't really need the flashlight. I don't need the phone. Can I figure out a way to fit this in here? I think I can. I think I'm going to have to get rid of the generator, but... Let's see. Let's see if I can't... Why are you guys just not going into the spots you're supposed to go into? It's very frustrating. Do I want the generator or a crowbar? Actually, I think I can go like this and fit it all. Nice. Plus, I mean, I have my truck right there with a big, large storage in it. So I have no idea why I'm like fumbling over this or concerned about it because we're fine. Really need some water. The wire cutters. Oh, man. Wish I had a set of wire cutters on me. 
I don't know if I've seen any yet this episode. Okay, let's just drop. The reason why I want to hold on to all of these is, I mean, they're worth $200 a piece. So it's pretty good to have, in my opinion. Drop, sell all these firearms. Allow us to get uh, more stuff a lot easier. Head back to this road and keep going to the left. I already killed everything over here at that church. We'll just continue to run. What's nice about this is like you don't burn through fuel crazy. Like I filled this thing up and it's not like this little bit of traveling I've done is like consumed all my fuel. So I'm, I'm really happy about that. Uh, this might be worth checking out to see if we can get lucky enough to find. Also, can I? I need to load up that shotgun. I can't load up either firearm because the ammo is inside my ammo box. I don't think that's right. I think I probably really should have reset the game like it re recommended. I don't remember doing that in the past, so I'm a little thrown off. But let's see what I can load into these firearms real quick, just to be safe. Hunting rifle is good to go. And shoddy holds up to two right now, so that's all I have. I think it's six. Obviously, the weapon ammunition animations are not perfect. You know, he loaded in six shells, but really, there's only two that went in. But uh, again, like I said, this is pretty impressive for a lone developer. And I can't really argue with it too much. My frustration when it comes to things not working right is really, in the end, my fault because I didn't reset the game. I know I do that a lot where I trigger these things. But I kind of do it on purpose because of I want to bring the like draw the zombies to me. Anything else I'm fine with? Fill some more stuff up top. I really need water. Like I'm getting so low on hydration right now. Empty water jug would have been really nice if you were full. This, so this welding mask does provide a little bit of protection. Oh, wait. Wire cutters. You know where we're going. And uh, drop these ropes in there. Let's run up top real quick, though, and just check. And then we're going to go back to that farm. I want to see what's inside there. I'm happy with the fact that we found, you know, uh, a vehicle already. And we got it fixed up, and we're good to go there. But man, it would be really nice. Jeans with knee pads, that's the exact same thing. I have a jacket, not worried about that. Really, there's nothing I want here. The, the fence is nice, but for right now, I'm not worried about it. Until I kind of lock down a base of where I want to be. Five by five, six by seven. I don't need our toolbox. Drop that in there. Man, if I did have an R2 box, I could fit more things in there. Like, I could do this. That doesn't fit in there, apparently. Um, rope could go in there. Nails could go in there. Like, once I fill these things up as I go. Chem lights are good. Let's equip those. Let's grab this lock pick. So maybe having two toolboxes won't be terrible because I can store more stuff in them. All right. So to get back to that. Oh, my God. I think I need to turn around. Sometimes I drive past places and then turn around. And I can't be doing that when I don't have GPS. Like, I really badly need GPS for some of that stuff. Yeah, I think the farmhouse though was right over here. Or the barn, I guess. Let's turn off the lights in the truck because they're not needed anymore. Do I have a bunch of stuff on me I should get rid of? I don't know why I didn't do this sooner. Let's just get rid of you. That's it. Happy I came back anyway. Another repair kit. Awesome. We'll hold on to what we got here. Okay. Okay. I guess I'm happy I did this. Why are you not going in there? Oh, it's going to have four at a time. Good to know. Uh, yeah, I gotta figure out how to take these with me. 
Put you there. Oh, it's raining. I thought I heard something walking towards me. Another really great thing about this is like, I'm outside in the rain right now. And if I step inside the barn, the rain goes away. And to me, that's really impressive. Like, the AAA games, I can't do that, you know? So I'm pretty happy with that design. Like, look at this. Gone. Love it. I looted that already. Is there anything else over here I just need to check on? Nope. Okay. Okay, well, water is my biggest concern because we're down to 4%. Let's just keep rolling here for a second and see if we can get lucky and find something. Sometimes these convenience stations we can get lucky with. I'm going to drive past, but I'm not going to turn around the vehicle. What I can do is... And then what we're going to do is we're going to drive all the way around. And if we flip this thing back around facing the direction I want to go, we'll know. And all the zombies should be back to where the truck was. The last time I honked the horn. Yeah, now they're chasing a deer, too. Okay, I can't get in there, apparently. There we go. I feel a lot better at this moment. Shoot, why do I have... There we go. Put these away. Okay, well, that makes me feel a lot better having that little bit of water. Yeah, we're gonna grab these two. Come on, just go in. You're really slowing me down here. Really slowing me down. Okay, awesome. Look through here real quick to see if we get more fuel. Oh. Alright. Awesome. It's kind of a cheap little way of avoiding zombies, especially when you're in a hurry to inspect something. But, uh, yeah, it just kind of clears out that whole area real fast for me. I do see some smoke over there. Sometimes that's a bandit camp. Sometimes that's a, oh, you know what? I know exactly where I'm at now. This is awesome. So... What I want to do... The last time I built a... The last I, uh, playthrough I did myself, I built a base inside this building to my left here. It, this is new, though. I've never seen this before. That smoke must be like some form of, like... Um, incident that you need to go check out for possible stuff. There's nothing else up here, so let's open this military crate up. It's a military crate. This could be amazing. Oh, come on. That was weird. Okay, not as excited as I was hoping to be, but let's still grab all this stuff. I'm not gonna take the damage sniper rifle. I do have a hunting rifle. We'll be fine. I think there's one more set of boxes over here, though. Emergency drop. Military pants. Yes, sir. NVGs. Yes, sir. I'm happy to have this as well. Gosh, I am running so fast out of room. A couple different mods. A military flashlight. In fact, let's just get rid of this one. Put this one there. This is a 6x7. This is a 6x7. Okay. I am officially out of room. I 
it's not going to fit in there anyway. But let's get rid of this. And let's just go like this. And in fact, what I want to do is inspect this. Take that mag out real fast. I didn't need to take the mag out. I don't know why I did. Only five rounds, but that's fine. Let's grab it. And we'll go like that. Does this fit there? It doesn't. So maybe I leave it there. Does this fit there? It does. Okay, cool. Inventory is pretty much full up at this point. Is there anything else I want? I mean, that patrol backpack, I think, probably looks better. Oh, shoot. You know what? I need to grab... This is a problem. I definitely want this toolbox because it's full of repair kits and stuff. What could I do here? I think my truck is pretty much full, right? I think we gotta get rid of this. I do. I think we gotta get rid of it. mine in here get this there and then I should go back to this and grab that okay cool feel better now let's the other thing I really like about this place is over here I'm gonna leave my truck here for right now oh wait there's another box right here high tier it says oh my goodness six of seven six of seven that's some military gloves. They don't really do much for you, but we'll take them. 556 five, suppressor. So we can actually open this up now and drop that on there. So that is suppressed. Some 7.62, some 9mm. A compass. Let's equip it. I have room for this. I want to take it. A couple more mags. We'll take it. And jungle boots. Let's get rid of these office shoes and put on some jungle boots at least. Okay, so we got military pants, military gloves. What a what a good start so far. Uh, I was gonna do something. Do I have any more five five six? I pick up more. Stack. I did not. For some reason I thought I did. Okay, so down to only six percent water again. But the reason why I'm liking this is this is like a little military camp here. That hurt, but if I can get down there, there's all kinds of supplies. And I should say supplies, but there's like an ammo box there. There's another box inside there. Another box inside there. Another large ammo box inside there. episode might be longer than what I wanted it to be, but I think we got to somehow get in here and do this. I can't make that jump to that tower. Damn, my keyboard just stops working for a second, like in the game. I did it again right there. I really think I just need to restart the game. I'll tell you what, I've been recording for 53 minutes, so maybe we'll just end the episode right here. And next episode, we will focus on clearing out this. Yeah, because I can barely move. That's just my water. Um, you know what? Let's. This might go really bad for me. In fact, I think it's because it's potentially going to go bad. We got to try this. See if we can get get to there. Uh, there's a cafe right to my left, so maybe we'll check that out for some food first. We did just level up, so let's take a look at what we can get there real fast. I think what I want to do is I want to go with crit. Oh, I don't have enough. I don't have enough for any of this. Okay. Maybe this episode will just be a little longer than I was intending it to be, but that's all right. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying it. I have a lot of fun playing this game. It's a, it changes up the, the feeling of not playing the same game over and over and over again, especially for recording content. It's kind of fun to, to change it up a little bit, so hope you guys are enjoying it. 
and maybe we'll bring in some other people that we don't normally see or new new subscribers oh god based off of new uh because it's different content never know never never know i just really need to find some water and actually i just thought of something let's search these oh my god i gotta stop doing that let's search this real quick and then i think i actually know where water is at for us So, right here is a well. There, we are full on water, which is great. We'll take the food. You can just go down there. And then let's uh, fill up everything. Oh, this worked out really good. I was really nervous about my whole water situation. But we are good now. We have plenty of water. It's kind of like why, why I like building a base here in this area is because there's wells here. But you also have the ability to make your own well. So let's uh, let's go back and just take out that military camp real quick and see what we get out of there. I am getting dangerously low on storage, but hopefully we'll even find something like a tent to store stuff in. Yeah, I really. Or wait, do I? Can I now that I have a compass? No, it just tells me what direction I'm walking now. If you look up top there, it, that's all that did. The compass just adds in, letting you know which direction you're moving. But you can upgrade that compass to an actual GPS, and that's what puts your markers on the map. But we are. I mean, just to give you an idea of where we're at. We are right here. Like, we're basically right in this area. So that'll at least help me figure out where to go for, you know, things like, uh, find traders and stuff. Just keep working on these guys. Using a bandage because I got dangerously low there. The screen starts kind of getting gray as you get closer and closer to death too, which is when you're playing, uh, uh oh, I shouldn't have been holding shift. This might be a really bad thing. Or it might have been a really good thing. I do need to fix something here though because these are no oh I'm out. Okay. Um Well, I'm out. We'll just leave it at that. I can make some more which honestly I probably should. Let's just go into crafting real fast. How many of these can I make? Eight. And how many of these can I make? What? I should be able to make at least one. Oh, because they're not in my, hold on. Yes, there is. There's plenty of space because there's a medical box right here. It's not going to let me make. That's all right. We're going to be just fine with bandages, though. I have to move them onto my bar, though. I just tried to use one just to be safe, and it didn't work. All right. So let's just jump in here. Ammo is going to be important. If I could get lucky and find, like, a larger... Larger backpack. There's like a military grade backpack that's absolutely just huge. You're stuck there. I'm gonna leave you stuck there for a second. Just, once again, it didn't automatically put you away. But that's fine. These guys are really scary to me. Like, they uh, they kind of terrify me. There we go. Got some more food. This is a big ammo box here. I didn't really have as much in it as I was hoping for. There's a military supply chat cache though. And this is this is good to get here. Typically I found some decent stuff in here and I didn't find crap. Awesome. I need this clip though because I have Can this not go? Can this not go? 
That's dumb of me. I think that's everything. Nothing there I care about. Oh, I didn't do the supply pile yet. Okay, well, you know what? I'm gonna grab these. And I'm going to call that probably the episode. So, pretty good episode. I wasn't expecting to be able to take something like this on right now. But honestly, it's not too terrible yet. I'm just taking it slower than I probably normally would. Yeah, let's, uh, let's just end this poor dude's suffering here because he is stuck up here and can't move. It's kind of how I go to get away from things that are attacking me is I jump up on these. And uh, you can't really hit him with a bat, but it does work. My truck is up there. I need to get back up there. There's just some, uh, some vandals or whatever, some bandits over there. But I think next episode, let's get inside. Next episode, I think we're going to continue exploring. Maybe we'll work on clearing out this town to see if we can find anything good inside of it. Really just need a GPS at this point to make uh, searching a lot easier. And we'll probably go to a, a, another trader to trade off a lot of our firearms that we're not going to keep. And just continue on with the game and see how many episodes we can go without dying. So anyway, thank you guys so much for the support and love and all that on this channel. You guys are absolutely amazing. Absolute rock stars. And I hope you have a wonderful day.